Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Venus run. Episode 10 of the series here, and we're going to go ahead and take a look real quick at this because we've had a couple of different things happen, so we're still working on the heat. I like to just fly through all these in the beginning so we can see where we stand. Pressure still on the decline. Not much has declined because I had it paused for a really long time. The oxygen now, negative 46. We've lost control of the oxygen. We've got to get it back up. It won't be that hard to do, and I'll show you why in a second. Water's still going at plus 20. We're going to have to cancel this out. Probably build one more Hab Dome and another Electrosys plant should do it. That would be minus 80 plus 20 would be minus 20. And then actually two more Hab Domes would cancel it out, right? No, one more Hab Dome would cancel it out completely. 273,000. So we got to get another Hab Dome up and then another Electrosys plant is what we got to do. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and first deal with the oxygen issue. It was negative 46. So if we go into here and we turn on both of these biofixture labs, that's going to raise it plus 20. So now we'll go back into here. We'll go to oxygen. We'll see it's now negative 26. And pressure is going to be dropping a lot faster now at a very steady 146 uh, minus, which is what we wanted to do. We're going to go ahead and deal with the oxygen issue or continue to deal with it anyways. And one of the things we could do is we could turn some of this stuff off that would get it more in the positives. Um, but I don't want to do that because we're actually going to offset that oxygen right now. Let me go ahead and take a look real quick. So it's negative 26 and plus 20 on the water. Plus 20 on the water. A hab dome. What does a hab dome generate? Ah, see it generates some oxygen and some water. So we got to get a hab dome up. I think we either build another, what's this? Um, we could launch educated people for this attitude becomes a feature of the local culture, but doing so will cost 16 million decline. Not going to worry about that. Oh. There it goes. We had kind of glitched out the game there for a second. All right, so I either build another colony and throw another hab dome down, or I don't. This is supposed to be for water now. And we're changing some of these around. We've been changing the name so I can remember. So we called one oxygen. We'll let this one be water. Um, for water balancing. We got oxygen, water, and the other one's going to be pressure. Which is new hope. Because it's all pressure based. And this will just help us uh, keep track of all of this. So, oh wait a second, hold on a second. I spelt that wrong. Ooh. There we go. All right, perfect. That'll help us keep a lot of this organized. We've got a hab unit. We're gonna keep that here for now. If we put up another hab dome, uh, the pressure place would probably be the place to do it. Because I'll just upgrade the bio fixture labs if I need to. Um, so we can go ahead and get another hab dome here. That's going to give us plus 10 oxygen, which we want. Plus 20 water, which we also want. The plus 20, 20 water we want because we're going to go here to the, the water place. And we're going to build another electrosis plant, which is actually going to give us another plus 10 oxygen, which we need if we're going to actually cancel this out. So that'll cancel out the water rate at about the time when the waters hit peak. And then that's 20 additional oxygen. So that's going to put us at minus six for oxygen. That'll be a lot more manageable. We can simply manage the oxygen issue by going into here. Minus six. We turn that off and turn maybe a two more off and we'll have oxygen going back up. And that's what I was talking about last episode when I said you kind of want to bounce back and forth and make sure you balance everything out and then use these small things like the O2 filter and the solar shades and everything to kind of balance things left and right. You don't want to be trying to balance things with large changes like negative 40 oxygen, like the carbon fixer, or the electrosis plant, because it just gets things out of control. But you obviously got to use the big things to try to balance out things like your hab domes, especially if you're going to upgrade stuff. Now, none of this accounts for upgrading yet, and we are going to be upgrading at some point. The hab domes will be upgraded. That'll increase oxygen. 
and increased water. Uh, we're probably going to the biofixture labs. I may upgrade these two to plus 20, give them a nice round number instead of them sitting on that odd. We'll give them an even number so they're easier to cancel out. So I'll probably add another 10 oxygen there. Um, I probably won't even turn these off actually. I'll probably keep them going and I'll add the oxygen by upgrading both of these because that'll increase uh, the amount of pressure that we're reducing, but it'll also give us that nice even number we need for the biofixture lab so then we can properly cancel it out with the, cancel it out with the O2 filters. Uh, I could queue both those up to upgrade. Uh, it makes sense to do that, but I'm gonna hold off because uh, if you upgrade too many things at once, sometimes you get ahead of yourself and then you cancel out a bunch of stuff that really hurts you or you, you don't you upgrade something that you thought you had under control and you didn't and you don't find it out till later so we'll just wait until everything's built and completed because once everything is built and completed then i'll definitely know it's safe to upgrade because all the numbers are going to be stable with nothing being uh researched built or any of the numbers being adjusted we'll go ahead and spend this culture point since we've got it that'll start our two-hour queue for the expert difficulty next point is at 250,000 population we currently have a population of 112 so we've got a long ways to go the extra hab dome is going to help that i think one of these yeah and this here still has a, a pretty large amount of people to add to it we could actually add something here that would increase the amount of people coming here so we can hurry up and fill out that 40,000. Then we just need to build one more hab dome to get the 250. But uh, the thing to keep in mind is I believe, let me check, double check. I believe the space elevator gives us a boom. Plus 250 population extra, which is dumb. And plus 100 population every other colony. So actually it doesn't. Uh, has actually tapped a massive aquifer. Engineers have stabilized it temporarily, but they're forced to shut down operations. They can resume mining if we drain the aquifer and release the water onto the surface, or we could simply shut down, mine down, leave the sea levels unchanged. We'll actually release the water there. That'll give us a little bit of a higher water. It's, it won't be a much. It's going to go right into the atmosphere. Oh, yikes. Okay, so that actually put us vapor in the atmosphere. There was enough water in there to put it right to 314,000. Um, therefore putting us over a goal of 300,000. Now this isn't too big of a deal. We're already going to cancel this out. We're building the other hab dome. That's going to put us at plus 40 plus 40. Keep up with me. So we're going to have plus 40. And then the electrosis plant that we're building is going to be minus 40. That's going to zero this number out. Then we've just got to get rid of 14,000. That won't take much. That won't take much at all to get rid of the 14,000. All we'll have to do is build ourselves a geocistern. We can even just build one of those upgraded to like 10 and just kind of keep an eye on it. Make sure we get rid of it uh, when the time comes. Okay, so what else do we need to build? There was a couple other things. I remember we got the heating cluster. The thermal dust is going to be next. That's just in case we've got to mess around. We shouldn't need it, but there's a possibility we might. And... Yeah, so I think that's about it for this episode. Actually, there's not a whole lot left as we're just kind of waiting for a few things to build up. And then next episode, we'll go ahead and let's see, pressure, let's see, temperature's going at seven now. So the atmosphere's thinning a lot quicker instead of plus three. It will continue to thin a lot quicker as the, the pressure drops. And pressure is still at that 5.7 million. That's a lot. Still got a lot of dropping to go. The bio fixture lab at negative 156 is pretty good. We'll probably upgrade both of these, uh, which will give us a little bit more. So we'll see that drop a little bit quicker. Uh, oxygen should be, it's back in the positives. Why is it back in the positives? Um, Yeah, we got it back in the positives, but why? I can't scroll this, so for some reason I can't see. She's not gonna let me scroll. Water's plus 20, that's gonna cancel out here. Why did that, am I wrong? Was that always like that? What did I miss? Maybe earlier I did mean to get it in the positive. I mean, it's gonna start growing now and it needs to not grow, that's too quick. We didn't build anything. I didn't rush anything unless something built quicker than I Letting that water out shouldn't have increased it, but it might have. Because you know, we're building the electrosis plant now. That's going to give us 10 more oxygen. And we're building the hab dome here. 
which is going to give us 10 more oxygen. So what did I miss? I guess it's a good thing I double checked because we caught it early. We can go ahead and start upgrading these then because we're going to need to do that. To cancel out all that oxygen now we're going to have coming into the system. And we could always do another carbon fixer. I'll consider it. But we're not going to consider that until we've upgraded all these to where they need to be. All right, so we'll see what that gives us there. That should, it's not going to deal with it. I see water right here, but I don't know if that's because the electrosis plant gives us plus 10. But I don't know if also we, because of the water levels going up, we've managed to, because of the vapor in the atmosphere maybe? I don't know. I wish I could see. But that's a, some of, that's kind of the problem with playing on PC. Sometimes not all of this works. See, right there's supposed to be my cursor, but... All right, well, either way, we'll see where it goes. We can still balance this out. It'll just take a little bit more effort. Uh, building another carbon fixer, actually, maybe not as crazy of an idea, especially if I upgrade both these biofixture labs. Um, it might have almost been a better idea to upgrade both of these. And, uh, no, nah, I wouldn't want to upgrade those, though. If I upgrade both of these, that would have been 10 plus 10 for the Habdone. That's 20 plus 10 for the Electrosys filter. That would have been 30. Um, we might be able to build another carbon fixture. I'll consider it. Let's let everything build and then see where we are. We're not, nothing's in dangerous levels yet. You know, all of this is fine. We haven't started doing plant life, so we don't really have to worry about any of this unstabilizing until we start actually putting biomass on the planet. Right now, we can mess with the numbers pretty much however we want and alter them. So it's not a big deal. All right, so we'll see where that goes. But I thank you all for joining me, though. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.